Toronto, a place like no other. It is young and vibrant. A couple of million people from close to a couple of hundred cultures live in harmony here. Oh, you got me so high and I know you lie. So baby, push it up on me. We got all night. From the rocking low to the beat. I'll never mind. Boy, I'll never mind. Yeah, I'll never mind. Boy, you got me so high. In one corner of a crossing, a pious Christian spreads the message of the Savior. In the opposite corner, young Muslims spread the message of peace. In another corner, Toronto's own Batman stands guard. In the middle of it all, an emerging artist of his own right entertains passers-by. And around town, many musicians are passionately at work producing new music with high hopes. Toronto is home to thousands of emerging artists. Like you were so accustomed to the fast life Had the girl thinking that she met you in the past lives Weapons hit tight Chillin' with no makeup on YouTube is God's gift to emerging artists. I can never take you home But it seems to have its limitations too. Where I'm at now is I, I can produce music that sounds professional and um, my only outlet for it is the internet. I, alongside other artists, have been able to push things through MySpace and iTunes and YouTube and things like that. Right, so I have to kind of spam all my friends with my links and stuff, and it never feels, it's not fun to do that, right? You don't want to be that guy giving everybody spam and stuff, but there's really no other way. The biggest roadblock for connecting with potential people that would enjoy my music would just be um, the fact that the only place to get it out there is the internet, which is Fantastic, you can get your music all over the world very easily. But I think you need something more. I think you need some type of some type of support. But there is something that distinguishes you when you say, hey, check out my song on the radio, right? And people will look at you and be like, oh, your song's playing on the radio, because people know that not necessarily everybody can get on the radio, or that if you're on the radio, it, for some reason it gives you sort of a status and a legitimacy to say that your talent is worth enough to be on the radio. Today's emerging artists are of a new breed. They see no boundaries. They conform to no categories. They're bold. They're fresh. They're unique. That really shouldn't be a problem, should it? Now I'm producing my own music, I'm singing on it, writing, writing my own songs and producing for other artists as well. I make a lot of electronic music as well as the rock and the metal thing that I do. Um, and my goal with that really is to, I usually like to take, you know, like hip hop style drums and then I'll mix it with some like orchestral instruments and then take a sitar and throw it in. Just to kind of paint a picture that nobody's ever really seen before. I guess to me, uh, it's important for everyone else to get to hear uh, more different genre of music. There are certain musics which have a blend of you know different uh, cultural music which combines it together becomes you know kind of like a new age music kind of thing. Very unique I would say. A lot of times if we are mixing with like town music or I have some friends from the Persian community and things like that and they sort of we call it a fusion, but sometimes I'm not so sure whether it's a fusion because there's it's very heavily influenced culturally or by something else, whether it's like a different beat or a rhythm or something unique that they've come up with. Hey, what's up? Not too much. I'm just on my way to the Indian record store to see if they'll sell my CD. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you think? Well, this is English music. Yeah. We cannot sell here. This is an Indian store. But I'm Indian. Well, you don't look Indian. You can Punjabi. Yes, I can speak a lot of Punjabi. But I'm sorry. But, we cannot sell here. Uh, sorry. Uh, but... Okay. I don't know. What to do? Hey Bunny, what are you doing in the next hour? Do you think you can meet me at Gerard Street? Jazz, uh, but 
I, I, I try not to label myself too much because I, I find labeling it creates boundaries and when you create those boundaries it, it, it blocks your creativity. Definitely. Because when you're put into a category then you have to be in a category. Everything is just a straight narrow line and there is no narrow line when you're when you want to make what you want to make, right? Because people ask you what kind of music do you do, right? And you're kind of like, okay, well, out of the ones that are there, I guess I'm a hip hop artist, right? So, but a lot of times when we're talking one on one amongst ourselves, we're like, we don't really want to define ourselves sometimes, like, absolutely by the categories that are available. We feel that we are trying to come up with something different. I'm not looking to be a rock star, I'm just looking for people to actually enjoy listening to the music itself. It's been difficult to present sometimes, and also. Um, in terms of the dissemination side, I know artists who will approach a radio station and say, well, this is what I, what I have, and they'll, they'll ask you, just like people will ask you, well, how would you define this? Where does this really fit on the spectrum? And when you're unable to, to sort of put it in the established categories, I've had friends say that they're kind of turned away, you know, with different explanations as to why. The boundless dreams of these refreshing artists, the real sounds of the streets of Toronto, is what Stan FM is all about. Alright, welcome back. What an exciting mix of beats that was. You're hooked on to the sounds of Toronto Audience Network, the home of Canadian new music. Here's yet another refreshing new single from Toronto's own Lady Pista. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Aaron Chong. Your Lady Pista. Brian Carter. Myri Mollet. I'm Sam Kasman. We need a platform like the one that Stan FM is proposing. It's what we've been waiting for for a long time. I think it's about time we have something for artists to be able to communicate and to be able to put out music that expresses themselves. I'm sick and tired of hearing the same songs on the radio all the time. And we definitely, definitely, definitely need a radio station like this. Hope that you would give us this opportunity to show us our music. Hey. 